Hey, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we entered Ustengrav, and we're attempting to find the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. In the last episode, I mentioned that uh, there was a room back there, and I didn't know how to get to it. But I looked it up, and apparently we need to get through there, and I don't know if I've ever done this. I, I've had to have done it at some point, because pretty much all of the main dungeons in Skyrim, I have, you know, explored every nook and cranny, as, as you know, as far as my knowledge goes. So... What we need to do is we need to, like, follow this path. I did not realize this at all. It's sort of tricky, as you can see here. Also, I'm still sick. Um, I've got my roll of tape, toilet paper still right next to me. And I really hate recording when I'm sick, but I sort of have to because my schedule is crazy at the moment. I just feel like my commentary goes uh, to the wayside a little bit because I don't have as much energy. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and equip Whirlwind Sprint and use that. <gasps> There we go, and I think we need to wait for it to recharge. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make that jump. Eh, we could, I think, but we'd have to sprint. And there's not enough room here for me to press Y at the right exact time. So we'll just wait for that to cool back down. And then we will... Oh, no, I did it too early. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you have to wait for that. Uh, if you don't know how Skyrim works, take a look at the top. You'll, you'll see the compass. You can see uh, we're looking in the eastern direction. Yeah, when you use a shout, as you can see in a second right here the cooldown indicator oh my god wow it's almost like you know i'm a bethesda uh let's player on youtube but i can't even platform and i consider platforming games one of my strongest games so jesus christ let's just um let's chalk it up to the sickness let's go with that yeah you'll probably notice there's a different inflection in my tone it's because uh my nasal passages are all clogged up and it sucks i hate being sick so much but that's the last time I'm going to talk about that. All right, so you'll see on the top, the compass, there's that little thing, and it's, you know, it's dissipating. And once it fully goes away, like right here, we can use the shout. Again. So there we go. It only took us the first two minutes of this episode. All right, so let's go this way, where hopefully we will be rewarded with that secret room. And look at that. We were. Uh, but all we have is a stupid Draugr with 15 gold, a lesser soul gem, not even filled. Wait. It doesn't tell you if they're filled, I don't think, if, if they're not in a chest or something. So you just have to look at the value, I think. But I'm not even sure if that means that that's filled or not. Value is 80, so I'm going to guess yes, but I'm not going to take it anyways. And we have a chest. So all that for around, what, 22 plus 15. I can math. That's 32 plus 5, 5 6, 7, 37 gold. Hopefully that's right. I'm not too sure. So yeah, pretty shitty reward there. See, like, I would use this opportunity to place a, a unique weapon or item in this room. I don't know why, after Morrowind, Bethesda stopped doing that. It's just so, like, what? It's so disappointing. Okay, but anyways, moving on. I, I hate randomized loot. That's why, even though I love Borderlands, like... Oh, actually, no. Borderlands is different because there's a lot of unique weapons in Borderlands. Alright, so the last time uh, we came up to this spot right here, I don't think we... I think we killed some skeletons up here. Yeah. So this is interesting, and this is unique. So if we walk past this stone thing, you'll notice that uh, the things are lighting up, and in the distance there, the gates are opening, and then they're closing. So we have to run past them at a fast speed. So let's just run full sprint, right? Boom, boom, boom. We're going to make it. No. All right, so <laughs> every time I come here... I spend like 10 minutes thinking that I have to whirlwind sprint through these and then run through the doors, but that's not actually what you want to do. What you want to do, let's wait for this to reset, run at full sprint, and then when you get up to this, whoo, damn it, it's tricky. It's really like the only thing in Skyrim that's actually difficult to do uh, to some extent, pretty much. I say that now, but we're going to get killed by a dragon at some point, I guarantee it. Um, so yeah, full sprint through these. And then just do that. Okay, that works. Yeah, you sort of just have to time it really well. It's it's difficult, but it's nothing impossible. Let's search the desiccated corpse and grab a lockpick. Wonderful. All right, we have a new chamber here now. Oh God, that's right. These are these are these are uh, these are pressure plates. So we don't want to step on any of those. We want to just hop over them. And you can see they're all over the place. So let's just try and pop over here. So far, so good. Don't want to step on any of these things. I'm not sh I don't think anything significant is going to happen. But nevertheless, yeah, we, we took a bit of health damage there. Okay, how many spiders in here? Yeah, <laughs> why, do they, why do they always glitch like this? 
I swear, it's more often than not that they're, they're just stuck in the air. Oh well, makes it easy for me. Any more spiders would not be a Skyrim dungeon if there wasn't a section devoted to frostbite spiders. Alright, let's move forward, shall we? Luckily, our weapon of choice are flames. Is flames? Are flames? So we can just burn those, uh, those webs. Alright. Let's activate this. And what do we have in here? One of the cooler moments in Skyrim. On the left and on the right, these pillars are going to come out. And there, there's nothing like that. There's no other dungeon like that where that happens. As far as I remember, I've explored pretty much all of them, but it's been quite a long time. Okay, this must be the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Just kidding, it's a note. Failed, retrieve the horn. Why, why, why? I hate how they just... They make you fail that quest. It's not like I have a choice. It just happens. I want to be... A, I'm a perfectionist. I'm a completionist. I want everything to be not failed. You know what I'm saying? But I know you have to do it. Anyways, Dragonborn, I need to speak to you urgently. Rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood, and I'll meet you. A friend. Well, we've received another letter from a mysterious friend, right? Could it be the same person? I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna drag this Draugr into the water. That's what I'm sure of. If we can have the strength. Come on. I know, Adronach, that you're just a feeble mage, but you can do it. Come on, put your back into it. Come on, I want this guy to go into the water. There we go. Come on, so close. Yes. Take a swim. Okay. What else we got in here? Another Draugr. Boom. Anything in the water? There could be a chest. Nope. Looks like it's pretty shallow, so probably not gonna be the case. Anything over here? Nope. All right. Looks like we are done with Ust and Grab. A lot of people are telling me to search these, but usually all they have is like gold. And I don't know. It just takes more time to loot these than the gold is actually worth, in my humble opinion. Okay. Wooden door. And it looks like we've reached the treasure room. Although I do search urns, even though it doesn't really make much sense because urns have the same thing as the uh, the same things as the burial urns in most cases. All right, so we have a whole bunch of gold here. It looks like a lot, but it's really not. But we'll take it anyways. And we have a master level chest, which is going to have a leather helmet of alteration, an iron sword of sapping, novice robes of conjuration, and a silver necklace. Very nice. I'm gonna forgo looting those urns. I'm gonna keep this LP a move, and I don't wanna spend half the episode looting urns. You know what I mean? Okay, back to Ustengrav. And where is this going to lead us? I know the answer, do you? How many times have you cleared out Ustengrav? Do you know where we're gonna uh, appear out of? Hey, it's the urn room, remember that? Yeah, remember that wall we were looking at? I didn't want to mention it, but... I knew that that was a uh, fake wall since I have cleared this place a, a billion bajillion times. So that means this one is the one that I was thinking there might be a secret thing in it. I could be wrong, but I sort of, swear to God, I, I knew, or I thought, that there was a point to this room, like a hidden uh, lever or something. Where would the door even be? That could be it, but no, I don't think so. That could, no, not that one either. Alright, I guess there's not. There could be, and I'm just not, um... We already read that. I'm just not noticing it, but... We're gonna go ahead and move. Sometimes those change, they just... They just escape you. Alright, so this isn't that early into the dungeon, I don't think. Or it could be, actually. Yeah, because we killed all of these people. And there is the exit. So we need to head back to River Run and rent the attic room in the Sleeping Giant Inn, which we have been into, I believe. Yeah, when we had to confront... Uh, Sven with that little love triangle miscellaneous quest. The common mud crab can be found. That's all you need to know. Okay. So, let's head back to Riverwood. Okay. And once more. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Oh god, not already. I don't know what you're talking about. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. We know you are the false Dragonborn. You shall not stand in the way of the true Dragonborn's return. He comes soon, and we shall offer him your heart. 
When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Damn it, why do you guys always appear here when I head back to Riverwood? I always forget I should travel to Lightrun first. Okay, so these guys are actually pretty tough if I remember right. Um, the guards are going to help us take down these guys, but I don't want them to kill any uh, innocent bystanders, and I also don't want to anger the guards. So, one cultist is down. Steel arrow, cultist robes, magic regenerates 75% faster, cultist mask, cultist gloves... Uh, we should be able to equip that, I think, without getting rid of our other stuff. And cultist boots. Okay, we have one more cultist over here. Uh, who appears to take very little fire damage. Uh, looks like they've got a ward, though. Uh, let's not get killed. Oh my god, literally I'm at like 1 HP. Okay. Restore 50 points of health. That's going to be necessary. Um, and we'll do that, and then we'll switch to restoration. Or healing, I mean. Finally, our restoration increases. Okay. Where are the guards at? It looks like they have, like, a permanent ward on or something. Like, they're using a ward there, but they're not taking any damage from fire. And when they're really low like that, I really try not to hit them. There we go. Because, like, this guard's on fire right now. Luckily, he's cool with it, but okay. Okay, cultist orders. Why, why would they make the, the update appear right where you're trying to read? Like, that's pretty annoying. Um, okay, move, move, move. Board the vessel Northern Maiden docked at Raven Rock. Raven Rock, sorry. Take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Adronach before he reaches Solstheim. Return with word of your success, and Mirak shall be most pleased. So if you have no idea what's going on, chances are you didn't buy the Skyrim DLC. This is... Uh, Dealing with the Dragonborn DLC, which we're not going to do anytime soon, I don't think. But anyways, okay, I think we're done here. Yeah. Now let's head into the Sleeping Giant. And actually, did anyone die from these cultists? A lot of the times they do kill... Yeah, <laughs> this guard's dead. Um, so he's not going to need any of this stuff, but we only want his arrows. Hey, the gods, your did, battle, friend. did anybody else die? I don't see any other dead bodies. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Usually they slaughter at least like two people. So and guards are replaceable, of course. So into the sleeping giant. Get me mad and I'll prank you. And not a little, a lot. Okay. What's up? I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. I'd like to rent the attic room, wink wink. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. The one on the left. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to sleep. Could be wrong, though. There we go. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Follow me. Now, we could just straight up leave because we have the horn. She gave us the horn. But let's see what Delphine has to say to us. Because something interesting is going on, clearly. It sucks because this is like the one Let's Play where I feel like literally everybody watching already knows everything that's happening. So there's not much that I can say. Um, by the way, secret, uh, secret little door here. I didn't watch the opening. But, uh, that's what has happened here. Well... The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. You're the one who took the horn? Surprised? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. Here I am, what do you want? I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. You better start explaining fast. I'll explain what I want, when I want, got it? 
You'd already be dead if I didn't like the look of you when you walked in here. Yeah, okay. But I had to know if the rumors about you were true. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. How do I know I can trust you? If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Why did you take the horn from Ustengrav? I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeards sent, and not some Thalmor plant. Even though I'm a High Elf. Why are you looking for a Dragonborn? We remember what most don't. That the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? I absorb some kind of power from dragons, that's all I can say. This is no time to play the reluctant hero. You either are or aren't Dragonborn. But I'll see for myself soon enough. So what's the part you're not telling me? Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. What makes you think dragons are coming back to life? I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Do you know how crazy this sounds? <laughs> A few years ago, I said almost the same thing to a colleague of mine. Well, it turned out he was right and I was wrong. So where are we headed? Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Hold on, I'm not ready to go yet. I can't wait around for you to make up your mind. I'll meet you at Kynes Grove. Don't waste time getting there. Alright, jeez. Alright, so this serves as a, a pretty cool early free base that you can use. There's a lot of stuff in here, obviously. That's Coin better. purse. Let's get on the road to Kynes Grove. I'm not leaving. I still have other stuff to do, uh, Delphine, but you can go ahead. We have the Rise and Fall of the Blades. Interesting. Why is that book randomly there, right? Some cabbages. We'll eat them. A chest that's empty. If we store things in there, uh, they will not disappear. They shouldn't, at least. We'll eat one of these junior... Uh, oh, wait, wait. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and then we'll take the rest. We have a whole bunch of alchemical ingredients, including a giant's toe. Pretty rare. Lavender. A whole bunch of potions down here. I guess we'll just take all of them. And we have a tap root, some tundra cotton, slaughterfish eggs, salt pile, ice wraith teeth, and all of this stuff you respawns. You that lying around? It must be your lucky day. Dude. Uh, kind of a secret room here. I need you to get the hell out. Okay. Uh, we can also use the alchemy lab, which we will in a second. Over here we have some arrows, some various shitty weapons that are not going to be of use to us. And a scroll of harmony... Worth 500 gold. Interesting. Uh, ooh, a blade sword. I don't remember that being there. Nice. An orcish grade sword. And a steel sword. And then also an arcane enchanter. So let's use that. Uh, iron sword of sapping. Goodbye. Leather helmet of alteration. Goodbye. I believe we're wearing that novice hood. Novice robes of conjuration. Goodbye. And uh, we have this stuff on us. We've gained a level up. I'm not going to save this one just because we're not going to be entering combat anytime soon. Fourth point into Magicka. Let's see what else we have in Destruction. Um, now this is where... This is where I have to stop and take a look at what we're going to be doing. Because if I'm using Destruction, I'm probably going to only use one type. So I don't want to put points into Shock or Frost. Um, and it looks like we can't put anything else into Destruction... And I haven't really given much thought to this, to be honest, of uh, what I'm going to put in after destruction. So, is light armor for mages? I think... Yeah, actually, I think the mage stuff isn't even considered a type of armor. So, that would be a waste. 
all of this warrior stuff is not going to be that big of a deal. So we have the main stuff here, um, but I'm not sure what we're going to be using just yet. So I think we'll save this point. Or maybe we could just put up lock picking. That's going to be helpful regardless. Um, yeah, let's actually put up lock picking. That's going to be the one thief line that I am going to pump points into. But don't worry, I will be putting points into the other magic. I just have to take a step back and realize what we're going to be doing. Because, again, I never play mage characters, so I'm not fully aware of what all of the spells are uh, for each path. Okay, we have the Book of the Dragonborn here. I don't know why that's here. It's just like, hey, I know you're a dragonborn. You, you want to read about yourself? I got you this book. Um, take map of dragon burials. You'll see how detailed it is. Uh, Kynes Grove is marked right there. So let's take it, since it is unique, I guess. And let's go into ingredients and eat everything that we have not tried. Boom. 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 And it doesn't even show us where our alchemy is, but this is increasing it by a very small amount. Okay, lavender, nightshade, nernroot, nordic barnacle... Slaughterfish, eggs, tap root, and tundra cotton. Okay. So the first uh, effect should be listed, and we should be able to make some potions now. If, we, if we're not able to, I will be very surprised. So at this point, what I do, you can see our alchemy. Like, look at that. How many ingredients have we tried? And look at the bottom right. It hasn't even raised at all. It started at 15. So that's pretty, pretty bad. Um, but let's see. Usually what I do is I make the potions that we can make the most of. So, so far it's damage stamina. Uh, let's see. Yep, it's gonna be damage stamina. Alright. So, we select one and we select another. And we press X to craft. Like so. And sometimes we will discover new effects. You can see, like, we made a whole bunch of potions there. But look, we're, we're only a little bit above half on alchemy. I don't know why they made alchemy. It just takes so incredibly long to level. It's, like, ridiculous. Uh, let's make a couple of damage health. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. All right. Those are all the potions that we can make. And our alchemy only increased by one. So you just have to put so much effort into it. And I'm not 100% certain on... Oh, one thing I forgot to do is use the chest and see if we have anything unique just yet. Yeah, we'll store the Axe of White Run. Um, what else do we have? Cultist Mask, Cultist Boots, Cultist Robes. I basically use this for anything unique, and I think that's going to be it, unless there's anything in miscellaneous. Oh, and the dragon bones and scales, right. Okay, and we'll put that in there as well. All right, that's it, and then I always close this even though it resets anyways. All the stuff in these rooms resets, so like you can come back in and take the coin purse and, and whatever. And all those all chemical ingredients as well. I told you, I've got other stuff to take care of. Um, and also I'll show you guys what I do to get rid of all my trash. I come into the Riverwood River, I go into the items, and I just dump all of it. So let's see. Boom. Boom. We don't really need, we're never gonna need a bow. And I guess we'll just keep a lookout for a really good one, and then we'll keep that one. <laughs> we'll save those for now. Um, let's see. Boom. Keep that. Novice robes. Yeah, that's trash. Okay. And we'll drop that. Now we have a whole bunch of potions that uh, we're not going to be able to use. Okay, potion of destruction. That's going to be good. Potion of fortify conjuration. I should have kept that. I don't know why I dropped that. Potion of health. That doesn't actually increase our health. It just, well, it literally increases it, um, but it doesn't restore it. Okay. Potion of resist fire, resist magic, resist poison. Stamina, boom, and boom. Keep all the scrolls since they're worth something. We'll keep all the ingredients. Should have put the book stuff in that chest as well. I usually do, but oh well. Is this the one about the friend? No, that's the actual unique one. Okay, this is the one, so we'll drop that. And miscellaneous. I don't think there's going to be anything that we want to drop. Oh, I should have dropped all the 
components as well. Oh, well, we have 300 carry weight, and we're nowhere near that. All right, so that's generally what I do every time I come back to Riverwood to get rid of all my stuff. We have a whole bunch of quests now, but we're going to finish off the Horn of Yurik and Windcaller, which means we need to go back to High Hrothgar. Okay, these loading screens, my god. We just jumped from one side of Skyrim to the- Ah, not really, actually. Riverwood is pretty close to uh, High Hrothgar. In fact... Okay, hey guys, I have your horn thingy. I don't know why, you know, you needed me to grab it. Um, since you're probably gonna put it back in the same exact spot for the next Dragonborn, but... Anyways... Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimkall. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Oh, does that mean you guys are gonna take ten years to get all in position? Okay, I have patience. Alright, it's just, you know, my viewers. I know they don't want to see you walking for half the episode, but... Oh, well. I know there are some things you can loot. Like, there's a billion of these uh, potions of regeneration. Actually, it says we're gonna steal them. I think once we're fully a Dragonborn... We can take them at any time. All right, get your old asses in position. Final word of unrelenting force. Da, which means push. Da. Give me it. Words together. This shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfgar will now give you this knowledge of. speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. If you can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. And that's it, pretty much. That's the only thing that we can do with the Greybeards, up until a certain point. Uh, we've been given the fully unlocked... Fus Roda shout. As you can see right here. Your voice is raw power pushing aside anything or anyone who stands in your path. And I'm pretty sure we are all pretty familiar with this one, but in case you're not... <laughs> Yeah, we can now pretty much launch people off of their feet, launch them over ledges. It's it's a lot of fun, and I'm really happy that we got it. Uh, I usually do that in every Skyrim playthrough. I usually rush to get uh, the full shout, because it is really powerful. It's one of the most powerful in the entire game, even though it's given to you for free and really early. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are an official Dragonborn, and we are going to end this episode here. In the next one, we will continue on with Delphine's quest, and after that... We will move on to something entirely different. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.